So this is Resident Evil Village, running on the PC in virtual reality thanks to Prey Dogs VR mod, right? It's really hard to get this game running um, properly in VR, right? You have to really, um, what is it called, fight the impulse to want to turn stuff on. So we're going to go through all the settings and I'm going to explain why I did what I did, right? And then we're going to go out that door and I'm going to show it to you running. Um, it's very performance heavy, the little mini game. So it should show you how good it can run, right? So first of all, let's go to the settings. So first of all, pro tip, make sure you keep your arm by your side while you're going through the menus. I don't know why, but if you put your arm in front of you, it makes it very difficult to accurately move up and down and left and right through the menus. Don't know why, just seems to be true, right? So first of all, don't mess with the color space. You want it to be windowed, right? If it's full screen, it's possible it won't show up in your headset. If you set it to windowed, it will show up in your headset. The same is true for Resident Evil 2, right? Don't mess with the screen resolution. It's set like that because of the uh, FSR, right? So leave that alone. Don't mess with the refresh rate. Don't mess with the frame rate. Don't mess with the vertical synchronization. But when you get to Fidelity FX Super Resolution, if you have a 3070, right? Maybe if you have a 3062, put performance all the way, all the way to the right right make it performance right the 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 most upscaling the the least graphic right it's the only way you're going to get it working right then down here see how it says texture high three gigabytes see how we could go to four but we're really close to seven all right we want to make sure we have breathing room right every object that's on the screen everything that you've changed every explosion every enemy also in addition needs to be in vram so we're going to give it some breathing room okay the um texture filter quality we're going to choose forex endoscopic i found that it looks good makes it look a little bit better and doesn't affect the performance right mesh quality low ray tracing definitely off right Ambient inclusion looks really pretty in the headset, and SSAO only works correctly, looks good, and doesn't cause an overhead. Go ahead and choose that. Screen space reflections look like crap in the headset, right? It looks like everything's glazed in the headset. I don't know why. When you capture it, it doesn't look like that in the capture, but in the headset, it looks glazed, and it takes a performance hit, so don't do that. Right. Volumetric lighting quality, I would love to put this higher because it's pretty, but we're going to keep it on low. You need to keep it on low. Trust me, even if it runs in some spots, other spots are more graphic intensive. Keep it on low. Subsurface scattering, turn this on. This affects how skin looks, right? And you're in VR and you're going to get really close to faces. Go ahead and turn it on. It doesn't take that big of a performance hit and it looks really good, right? Shadow quality, low. Contact shadows off, but shadow cache on, right? Then all of these off, these post processing effects, bloom, lens flare, film noise, deep uh, depth of field, and lens distortion, turn them off, right? It won't run without it. So now let's go into the little mini game, right? And let me show it to you running. Start. Okay, so as you can see, it's running pretty well, and there's gonna be a bunch of enemies on screen. Right? This game runs pretty darn well on this 3070, right? But only when I had these settings. If I turned anything else up even higher or turned on any of those post processing effects, it would run and then we get to a more graphic intensive area and it would completely just start causing problems. Um, this, this works. I recommend this. It'll work just fine. I don't think you're going to be able to run uh, Resident Evil 4 from what all the benchmarks and stuff with this 8 gigabyte card. Um, you're going to need something more powerful um, with more VRAM, especially for VR. Um, but uh, it runs, and it runs really good. Oh, also, I'm testing out my mod mic wireless. I got a second one because I got a defective one. Let me know if the audio, like my audio, and the game audio sounds right, like it sounds like I'm at the same volume and I belong in here, because that's what I'm going for. But I hope this helped. 
And if this helped, leave me a comment down below. If you need any help getting this or any other Resident Evil uh, VR mods running, uh, just leave me a comment, right? I also have a play playlist, uh, uh, play uh, Prey Dogs, uh, Prey Dogs VR mod tech support, right? Um, Get away, guys! Get away, I'm talking to you! Yeah. Um, and, uh, you can check out that playlist, right? Uh, I guess I'll put it right here at the end. And, uh, it answers all kinds of random questions you might have, but scattered throughout. So, go ahead and watch the whole thing. And, uh, I will check on you guys later when I get the next game with the settings there. Alright? Good night.